Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Stephen Kinchelik. In this video I'll be going over how to edit and create custom element properties for your elements. Now this is very useful for situations where you want to attach specific information to your elements. And that could be something like name and address information for cast members or even rental return dates for props. And then you want to be able to use that information on reports. Let me show you how to set that all up. So here I am in my schedule, and if I go down to one of these elements and double click it, you're going to get the information about that element, and you'll notice down here there's the element property, such as name, address, phone number, etc. Now, like I said, what if I wanted to add some information there, like email? It doesn't have email in there. So what I can do, I'm going to click OK to get out of that. I'm going to go up to Design, Category Manager, and I'm going to select the category of elements that I want to edit and I can either double click it to open it or I can push the edit category button and it brings up the edit category screen down at the bottom you'll see all the element properties that are there so if I click the new button I can type in email and it's going to be a single line of text you can either have single or multiple lines meaning there's you know more than one line of information you can put in there I'm going to leave it as single and click OK and it's down here at the bottom of the list. It's just been added. So I want it a little bit higher. I want it just below the full name. So I'm going to have that highlighted and click the Move Up button until it's in the position that I want to be in. And then I can click OK and I'm done. Now this can be done with all the different uh, categories. I can go into Props and it has a different set of element properties and I can create new ones. If I want to delete one I can select it and hit delete. Now know that it's going to come up with a warning message saying are you sure you want to delete that because if there's any information in there in any of your elements it's just going to be deleted and there's no way to undo that except for not saving your schedule. So uh, you want to make sure you don't have any information there before you delete and click yes. Um, on top of that there's no way to really edit it once it's there. I can't double click and get in there. So you want to make sure it's set up the way you want it before you start adding information because the only way to edit it is to delete it and create a new one. So just a warning about that. I'm going to click OK for that. Close this up. Now let me go into back into George here. If I double click, notice the email field is there. So I can start adding emails to my elements. And that works again for any category. Now with that information added, what can I do with it? Well, there's a couple of things. Number one, if I go up to File and say Save as Template, when I create a new template file from this, it's going to have uh, that field in the template. Along with that, you can go up to Design, Report Layouts, and you can add this information to uh, different reports, such as uh, here's the Cast Personnel Information Report. Uh, that comes with the default template. I'm going to double click it to open it. Um, this is just an example of a way you can use this information. So uh, I'm going to make a little bit more room here. And what I can do is uh, I can add that by grabbing the custom list field and dragging it over here, double clicking that field, and selecting email that field that we just created and clicking OK and now it'll print that information in this box and there's tools up here to you know make it the same as the other ones and you may want to bring over a, a text box to describe what information is here of email uh, another way to do that that's a little bit simpler if I delete this is you can select a field copy and paste. I hit Command C and Command V, Control on Windows. Same thing here, copy and paste. And uh, then you can go in here and double click, change this to email, double click here, and edit this to email. And click OK. Um, and then save this layout and uh, preview it if you want. So uh, that, that's a way you can add information to the reports. And then also, when you create a template, um, it will have that report, that modified report, in the template as well. So that, combined with the ability to create custom categories, allows endless possibilities. 
Now, is there a topic that you want covered in these tips and tricks, or do you just have some feedback? You can send that feedback to moviemagic at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to stop by entertainmentpartners.com for all our new products and services. And check out the community page while you're there. And there's ways there to friend us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter and subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.